Well, we're just chilling out here at home, and then we're talking about the desecration and the infiltration of the reservations uh, by the Zog infestation. And it's kind of rhymes, Carrie says. So, Carrie, you said it's been happening since before the uh, Federal Reserve Banking corrupt system by the Zionist uh, owners of the Federal Reserve Bank. Let me correct my statement. Federal Reserve Bank. Okay, yeah. So how long before that do you think it was happening? As probably before the 1920s. Before the 1920s. You know 1900s, what? 1900s, Actually, not more. You're uh, right. 1600s. Do you know when the Federal Reserve Bank was uh, started? Mm. Do you know exactly or no? No, I don't know exactly, but... But you're close. You're almost on target there. I'm going to pull it up and put it onto the website or onto the social media. Uh, I think it was 1912, but I'm not certain. Don't quote me, people, because I'm not into numbers that way. But I am I'm, I'm, I'm into facts, so what I'll do is I'll pull the facts, of, facts up on the Federal Reserve Bank when it was formed. But so you were saying 1800s, it was happening? Uh, yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, from my... English literature, they talked about the wigs and all that stuff of how England brought forth the politics mm -hmm. and started infiltrating, you know, across the United States. What was the United States called before it was called the United States of America? Do you remember? Like from an indig indigenous standpoint, I don't know if they called it Turtle Island or, or what did they call it? Do you know or no? I honestly don't know. Do you know or no? That's okay. Um, but anyways, um, what well, that's not relevant to. It is relevant to correct history, uh, but it's not relevant today. Here, what's relevant today is the truth, and the truth is we all been lied to throughout history, right, Care? Yes. And we've been lied to by the Zionist occupation of government infiltration, the ones who said that, let's have the Sacred Peaks hearing in California, corrupt California. The Sacred Peaks is, uh, it's where the Kachinas are, and it's a sacred mountain in Flagstaff, Arizona, called the San Francisco Peaks. But I'm sure that there's a Hopi name and a Navajo name for that sacred mountain, but they turned it into a local, uh, I'm sorry, God, I don't want to say it, but a local corrupt ski town. To make money. I mean, you know, they can... A tourist, tourist town. A tourist trap right before the Grand Canyon. But you know what, Care? They could actually recycle water and reclaim the water. They don't have to use... They don't have to recycle the toilet water. Right. So that's the part that really gets me sick. Because you wouldn't piss and shit inside of a Catholic church or a Baptist church or a mega church or... or a, uh, what do you call There's the what do you call the Utah, Utah people? I'm sorry, to, I don't want to offend, offend anyone. The, you wouldn't piss and shit inside the Mormon churches, so and you wouldn't go into a temple. But you still got bathrooms in there. Bathroom, like it, right? So I mean, it's still considered pissing and shitting on the land, sacred lands, huh? It's still a uh, conform kind of exclusive facility. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, more and more, it's like I'm starting to understand that religions and churches are more or less business. Mm -hmm. Business keepers, record mm -hmm. keepers right. across the uh, land. Yeah, so who are the Mormons to keep the records? Because the, the indigenous were here first. Why don't the indigenous people be the record keepers, right? They are, just not on paper. Right. And so, but at some point, the and I'm sorry to say this, I don't want to say it, but at some point, the white people thought they were the right people to keep the records, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So, but uh, I don't feel that way. Do you feel that way today? Mm -mm. Do you think they did more harm than good? Yeah. I do too. And so, and I think there's a hidden agenda as well uh, within the Mormon uh, Church. And I'm talking about the Masons. Do you think they're a great part of the Mormon Church too? Oh yeah. Masons re equal Illuminati, right? When you come to Flagstaff, Arizona, people, just know that when you see the Welcome to Flagstaff, Arizona sign, underneath it, it says the Masons. <laughs> so, and, and the Mason Cor the Mason office, the Mason clubhouse, if you will, is directly across the street on South San Francisco, or North San Francisco, however you want to word it, uh, right, right across the street from the federal courthouse. Right, Carrie? Right. Yeah, and uh, we have a friend that's in fellowship who said he went up inside that little clubhouse and it gave him an eerie feeling and he was a uh, Native American guy we're going to keep him anonymous but Native American guy practicing his spirituality and I'll never forget when he said that to us do you remember who that is 
right? He was standing, he was there at the courthouse when we were looking at it the one day. But anyways, we had to go to court. I think oh. it was for Daniel or oh, somebody. Yeah. Okay. okay, you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Let's just keep him anonymous. But yeah, um, I, it's really sad. It's a sad day in America when you have these hidden agendas that are not speaking out right, uh, that push and push more and more onto the sacred rights of uh, indigenous people and take, 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 take more and more. And then they want to show up and... Um, how do I say this? They want to show up in, in costume, political design, to say that they want to help. And uh, it's not true. It is not true, people. So uh, I'm humbly Anna Anders here on the YouTube channel here tonight. And we got to tell the truth. So history has been uh, infiltrated with a lot of corrupt, uh, hidden, zog-infested um, agendas. You know, and it's it's not good. It is really not good. And and I hope Hopi does not buy into the Zog infestation and the infiltration today because, you know, with that recent Hopi scandal of the missing artifacts in uh, Paris, France, of all places, now the, now the Holocaust survivors want to help Hopi. Really? I don't think so. You better be careful, folks, politically speaking. Do you agree, Carrie? You're, hey, you're Hopi. Do you really think the Holocaust survivors should be showing up to help? Would you trust them? No. Good. So a shout out to fellow Hopis. You see, this is a Hopi, Hopi Tewa woman here, and she's telling you, no, don't trust them, right? I'm listening to my matriarchal grandmothers. Um, Who should you trust? The indigenous tribes that the, were here before. All, right. All that that has evolved with... Everything. A little bit politics, religions. Right? Very good. Exclusivenesses. Right. So when you trust another fellow Hopi, you better make sure that he's not been indoctrinated and, and infiltrated by the McCain's of the world. Or right, bought Karen? Off or, or bought off by the McCain's or by the holo, holo, I don't know if we should call it, should we call it Holocaust survivors or holo, hoax survivors? Holo hoax. Holo hoax. Okay, so she says holo hoax. So I'm humbly Anna Anders here on this YouTube channel. This is the third video tonight, but uh, these are good videos. Please, people, wake up and pay attention. We are in Ohio here, and the po the Shawnee is not here no more, you know. Tecumseh's not here because of who, Carrie? Who do you think wiped out the tribes here? The same people, right? Mm -hmm. They're very subtle and very anonymous, and they always show up like they want to help. And in the end, they end up desecrating the tribes. So we're humbly Anna Anders and Carrie Joy Dinette on the YouTube channel. And we're all about forglobalpeace.com. You know, the cause of peace needs to happen now and the cause of truth needs to happen now. Politically, indigenously, culturally, uh, spiritually, okay? So wh what are you going to do, people? What are you going to do to contribute to the cause of peace and to the genuine cause of true history and the genuine cause of uh, true politics? You know, not being bought off just because so someone shows up with a uh, vehicle or someone shows up with some monies for your tribe. How are you going to learn to say no to corruption? See, that's what that's what the qu bigger question is, right, Carrie? Mm -hmm. How are you going to learn to say no to alcohol on the reservations? Because see, if you look around, the disease of alcoholism and drug drug addicted uh, tribes, it's it's out there. And then and then they want to build casinos. Which really reinforces the addiction issues even more, right, Carrie? And steals money from the poor indigenous even more. Is that right? That's right. Because they get addicted to gambling, right? Yeah. And it's all corrupt. So it's not helping. It's hurting. It's hurting. Uh, it's hurting. It's desecrating. And it's a slap in the face, culturally speaking, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that's all I got to say. I got to shut down the video. Do you want to add anything, hon? We're just having a restful night here at home and uh, eating. If you heard a loud, if you heard a loud burp, it's, it came from this little lady here. See, the loud burp just now came from this little lady here who's eating at the table. That was her that just burped, okay? Rosanna, is your food good? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Do you have anything to add to the video? No? Mm -hmm. You think we should tell the truth about politics and cultures and stuff now? Yeah. There we go. I'm sorry to put you on the spot, Zana, but you know what, honey? It's time to tell the truth. We need to fill the world with love and healing on the planet. See, that's a Coco Pelli rock. There we go. Yeah, love and healing and sacred truth to give sacred honor to everyone, everywhere, always. I'm turning off the video. Thank you, people. Good night. And I want to say 
Aho Esquale Kuna'a. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did I say it right? I did. <laughs> Good night, everyone.